Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Old Bay. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time and stopping by the collection room. This was given to me just uh, today. And thank you very much, Chloe. I absolutely love this. Um, this is a Life Magazine uh, retrospective on Godzilla. Now, I am a huge Godzilla fan. I absolutely love uh, the franchise. Have for many, many years. And the very first exposure I ever had to Godzilla was not the classic original. It wasn't even the good flashy remakes. Uh, the first Godzilla film I ever watched was uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon, which is one of the stupidest, um, absolute uh, cheesiest, corniest of all the films. And it wasn't until many years later that I went back and watched uh, the original and kind of got a, a real taste for what the original tone of the film was. I mean, it was very good. I, I love the movie. Uh, but, but much darker film, uh, very depressing, almost. Uh, not, not cheesy, not anything like that. It took itself very seriously, and it was, it was just really good. Um, there's, of course, a couple different versions of it. Um, there's the original Japanese version, uh, which has a lot of, like, scenes of horror and radiation burns and agony the the pain that's inflicted by godzilla on to the people and they they take a lot of time to film that and explain it and 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 delve into that and then there is the american remake version that has uh raymond burr in it and he is excellent in it i thought it was very good he plays an american reporter and he fills in a lot of the there he is right there he fills in a lot of those gaps that they removed. They, they kind of edited out a bunch of that because they were like, I don't think the American audience really wants to see uh, all these radiation burns and stuff. Uh, in Japan, of course, you know, this was 1954. Uh, the memory of Hiroshima and Nagasaki was not that far behind them. So, I mean, this was something they... Whoops. Something just fell off the table. Um, this was something that they were willing to uh, discuss in film and talk about. Um, this original King Kong vs. Godzilla is absolutely fantastic. It's a perfect blend of both movies. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen the new one. I probably don't care. Uh, but that old one, man, what a thing. And Godzuki, wow, what a load. Oh, gosh, this is so good. Look at that. That is such a perfect shot, page of everything. Um, dang. So this is one that's hard to track down. Godzilla vs. Hedorah, or Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, as some of you may know. Everyone in Japan knew how scary nuclear weapons were when the original movie was made. Uh, really big impact there. And honestly, uh, it was a big impact on me. I was young. It was probably the early 90s when I first heard of Godzilla. Um, probably around the same time that we were like watching Jim Henson's Ninja Turtles on film, and just the amazing ability of what people could do with rubber suits just totally thrilled me. That is just awesome. And since then, you know, my love for Godzilla has often branched off into um, a host of other uh, films that and, and productions that aren't necessarily Godzilla but very large kaiju related. So like uh, Super Sentai series and uh, Ultraman, these things were great. Um, I would also like to, in defense of the 1997 Godzilla, which everybody hates, the American version of Godzilla, um, if you didn't call it Godzilla, if you had said, this is just a giant monster movie, it's not Godzilla, this was a great movie. I, I stand by this. It was enjoyable from start to finish. I loved this film. Did it feel like a Godzilla movie? No. Should it have just been, this is a giant monster movie? Absolutely. No reason for it to be uh, that. It also did not need this animated series, which I can't say as I have ever watched, but you know, I, I, I just think it maybe it didn't need to be made. As far as my favorite uh, Godzilla villains, I still have to go with the original, which is Megalon, the first one I ever saw. I absolutely love that monster. Um, he's a big cockroach. He's just a giant roach type thing with drills for hands, and that is amazing. Of course, uh, my second would be Gigan, who was also in that film. And 
Yeah, those are definitely my faves. I don't know exactly, like, as far as profitability, how amazing some of these are, but, oh, that is amazing. That is right there. Look at the size of that. That is awesome. But, yeah, I just, I got this, and I was like, this has got so many cool pictures and so much cool history of Godzilla in it. I just had to, like, flip through it, share Mecha Godzilla. You know, he was actually way lamer than... I hoped that he would be. When I watched it, I was like, wow, he's not nearly as cool as... And there is a perfect picture. Gilda Radner, in her impersonation of a TV interviewer, Barbara Walters, sat down with John Belushi as Godzilla in a 1977 episode of Saturday Night Live. What a perfect, brilliant thing. Anyway, that's that. If you see it on a shelf, uh, check, your, check your newsstands. It's a, pre, it's a cool piece to have. It is very, very cool. If you're a Godzilla fan, you definitely want to snag that. Anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. That is my story. I'll catch you later. Bye.